Hey there, survivors. Welcome back to our channel, where we delve deep into the gripping world of The Walking Dead, Dead City. Today, we're diving into the pilot episode of Season 1, and let me tell you, it's a good one. Strap in as we discuss the intense moments, unexpected alliances, and the tantalizing mysteries that unfold in this thrilling start to the series. The episode kicks off with Maggie, our fearless protagonist, facing a mother's worst nightmare, her son's abduction by the notorious Croat. With no other choice, she turns to her former nemesis, Negan, the very man who took her husband's life. The tension is palpable as Maggie follows the trail to Manhattan, where a fateful encounter with Negan leads to an uneasy alliance just in the nick of time, as law enforcement closes in on him. Negan's past holds secrets that slowly come to light throughout the episode. Maggie's inquiry about his wife and child is met with evasion, suggesting a connection to the judge he allegedly killed. Meanwhile, Negan encounters a teenage girl named Jeannie, whom he was watching over before Maggie's arrival in the Big Apple. Jenny, Maggie's daughter, is left in the care of their group as they venture into Manhattan. As Marshall Armstrong, a member of the New Babylon community, accuses Negan of killing a judge, tensions escalate. Armstrong claims that Negan's punishment involved being hung upside down and severely cut. Just as Negan and Maggie are cornered by Marshall and two police officers, they take a small soldier hostage, setting off a gripping chase as they fight to stay alive. In this episode, the tension reaches its peak as Armstrong and Maggie engage in a riveting fight on the opposite side of the river. Maggie gains the upper hand, and just as things are about to escalate further, an unexpected moment occurs. Lucille, Negan's infamous weapon, nearly fires a rifle at Armstrong. But in a surprising turn of events, Negan and Armstrong share a brief but significant moment of eye contact. The tension between them is palpable, heightened by Negan's use of Glenn's ring to save Armstrong. In this episode, we witness a more grown-up Herschel, displaying resilience and toughness akin to Maggie. However, there's an underlying sense of fear as Maggie is threatened by the mysterious figure known as Crowrat. Herschel's endurance will be tested, perhaps even subjected to pain or torture. Meanwhile, the mention of a variant adds an intriguing element to the story. Its significance is yet to be fully explored, but it holds the promise of something exciting and impactful. As the episode unfolds, we catch glimpses of what could potentially become a captivating villain. We crave a relentless, formidable antagonist, and it seems that the Croatian may just fit the bill. No more compromises or lackluster foes, we want a true force to be reckoned with. This episode hints at the fringes of such a villainous presence, and we eagerly await how it will unfold in the coming episodes. In The Walking Dead, Dead City, the lines between good and bad blur. Everyone carries shades of gray, including our protagonist, Negan. Despite his troubled past, Negan manages to secure a safe place for Jenny, Maggie's daughter. Maggie, in turn, gains something invaluable, and Negan plays a part in saving Herschel. The story weaves together the potential loss faced by Marshall, Annie, and her children, along with the haunting specter of a murder judge. In conclusion, the pilot episode of The Walking Dead, Dead City, delivers a solid foundation for an expansive and enthralling narrative. With intense fights, captivating characters, and the promise of a larger story, this episode sets the stage for an exciting journey ahead. We can't wait to see how the story unfolds, unveiling the secrets, facing the challenges, and leading us toward a grander purpose. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure you like it and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth discussions about your favorite shows. Share your thoughts and theories in the comments below and let me know what excites you the most. Let's talk in the comments.